Yep, there we go. Let's get somebody to play. Ah, start off with white. Okay, E4. Yeah, one of these days I'll start with something different than E4, but yeah, you still get plenty of variety here. The Scandinavian defense, playing the martial line in the Scandinavian. That's not so common. Do I care about that? I can't um, get this to move. If I put the uh, bishop here, he'll take, take with the queen or the knight. I guess that's okay. And uh, we'll just defend this pawn here before attacking the queen. Ah, oh, that's the point, I guess. If I don't uh, keep defending, he can actually take because it threatens my queen. So I can't play the natural knight to um, c6 like so. Now I can because this is well defended. The queen can't take here. I can also castle queenside. Let's do that. <clears throat> I haven't seen anyone play this style in the Scandinavian before, new to me. Maybe we can look it up afterwards and see if there's a uh, <clears throat> some kind of uh, line here that I should be playing. Seems like it's pretty good though for white. Uh, I wanted to put my queen here, but I realized his queen is guarding it. Put my knight up here. Push the pawn. He takes, I take. Not particularly good. Put the knight up here. He takes twice. Just uh, centralize the rooks. Yeah, I was sort of expecting that. Let's uh, first defend the knight because I don't especially want my pawns messed up here. And then after that, we'll kick the bishop. This knight is tied to the defense of this bishop. Oh, he wants to um, take the knight. Well, if the um, if he gives up the bishop in order to um, <clears throat> bishop for knight and then trades queens in order to mess up my pawns, I don't mind that. Got a very solid center. And I can kick kick the knight away from there anytime. I did have to defend this pawn, but can't have everything. So there's a nice uh, fork over here. Knight here to here forks the two rooks. Let's go for that. And then the knight can come back here, or maybe come over here to harass the king's side. Yep. Okay, kick the knight now. If I do that, uh, then this will hang. So defend over here. Uh, 
I guess now when I kick the knight, he will um, take the bishop. And I still don't see any better alternative. I want this square for my knight, put my knight here and looking at these squares. I'll take back with the pawn to keep my center well defended. And then uh, the knight can come here. Let's put the rook here at this pawn, see what he wants to do about it. Not much, apparently. <clears throat> I, I, I'm, it's true, I'm not attacking it. He stopped my knight from coming here, which it wasn't going there anyway. It was going here. I can double the rooks and play g4. Hmm, okay, so he is hitting this pawn. Push. Take, take. Trade rooks. So, um, go here, huh? Yeah, let's just bring the knight out. Yeah, I was expecting that, so I have to defend this pawn. Check, huh? He goes there. What's he doing? I mean, his whole purpose seems to be to win a pawn and try and win the game with that. But uh, what is he doing? Giving up a pawn for nothing. Okay. So I could lift this pawn. Let's see, I could attack this pawn. It's a bit of a problem here. Let's uh, lift this first. This is this is what I could do. I could go here. He's going to take this pawn, huh? <laughs> I'm going to threaten to mate him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those pawns. Uh, well, that was a good start, I guess. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Got my first game in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just get... S oh, I wanted to look at the opening. It was an unusual way of playing the... Um, all the way back to the beginning. An unusual way of playing the Scandinavians. This is normal. This is normal. For the Scandinavian, anyway. That's weird. Computer says bishop takes d5. That's normal. Knight takes d5, also normal. And bishop g4. It's the third choice of the computer. Okay. So it is a valid move. f3 is a good response. What did I play? Bishop e2 is okay it's like the third choice no 92 so yeah it doesn't like this this uh, this leads to a position which is about equal which is how i was feeling it's because he gets the attack on this pawn 
but it seems like I, I still keep a slight opening edge. But it'd be stronger here to play F3. Yeah, I was I was tempted to play F3, I will admit. He has to move again. But then I have a permanent weakness on my king side, so pluses and minuses. Anyway, new game. Uh, D4 then, I did E4. Queen's Gambit. And um, just a uh, Queen's Gambit declined. Traditional opening. I'm gonna play a slow version here. Always oh, going for the pin. So this is like the um, Nims of Indian pinning the knight over here. Not quite the same, but let's kick the bishop and see if he really wants to take. He doesn't. Let's kick the bishop again, see where he wants to go. <laughs> the bishop seems kind of sad now, doesn't it? <laughs> well, maybe it's not a big deal, but uh, I'm going to castle. So he castled over here. So we have the setup for a... Um, Greek gift sacrifice if I push this pawn, if I can push it all the way forward or I can trade off this knight. But he's not going to allow that. I push, he takes, I take, he takes, I take, and then he brings the knight out here, which will stop that. And I won't be able to take here because his bishop is defending it. But it does open up this line for my bishop, so let's go there. Let's go there anyway. I lied, he didn't do that. Okay, but now <laughs> this bishop is trapped behind his pawns. He's opened up uh, this square for my knight. This has got to be worth something. Just have to wait till he moves this knight and then I can do the uh, great gift sacrifice. <laughs> no, he decides to move his bishop, huh? Let's see, can I defend my knight there? It's just, uh, I may be doing him a favor by getting rid of that light squared bishop, but, um, well, it's gone now. <clears throat> Let's put a rook here so I can um, put a knight up here. Yeah, I still got a problem, don't I? He's got the knight and the bishop on this square. Knight there, knight takes is a problem. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to put my bishop here, put the queen behind it, and then put it out here. And I was uh, doing that. I was trying to prevent uh, the knight from attacking this square, but it looks like he can do it anyway. Okay, go like this for now. Just restricting the movement of that knight, getting off the back rank. <laughs> so two of us can set up a battery. Is he going to put a knight back here? He did. Okay, so my idea was this. If he's got a knight there, I can go here. Because there's nobody to take it now. It's defended and the queen is not a good attacker in this case. I can... Um, I would like to get my bishop behind the knight, but I guess I can't. He can always take it. <clears throat> Unless he does that, in which case I can do this. Now, 
Now, I go here. Oh, the queen can take it. I take here. The queen has to move. The knight defends the bishop. <laughs> I just took it. <laughs> what was he thinking? Okay, so let's uh, lift my queen up to bring it over to the king side. Okay, now I'd like to attack this pawn here. How do I do that? It's not so easy. Maybe I just get rid of his knight. Just need a little more room on the king side there to organize my pieces. I'm going to play this pawn up. Okay, let's defend that center. Anyway, did a shuffle to <laughs> reverse the position of the, the uh, rook and the uh, bishop. I'm offering a queen for uh, rook and bishop and queen and a pawn. Bishop takes pawn, rook takes queen. Bishop takes pawn, king takes bishop. Or I'll just do it this way then. The bishop could have taken the pawn because that's with check. And I've just got an extra rook. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to uh, try and stop me. <laughs> Funny, funny. Okay, that's a fork. It is true. Let's go here. Defend the bishop. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do anyway. It's a check. I, maybe I should have put the bishop here first. But anyway, this is a fork. <clears throat> okay, his knight is trapped now. Meaning wherever it goes, the bishop can take it. And I can attack these pawns at the will. And he resigned. Okay, uh, yeah. Somebody knew. Okay, I'm back to e4, I think. Second round. Oh, and I get a Sicilian on the other side. Okay. Going to play a regular open Sicilian against this uh, knight, uh, knight c6 move. It's a flexible move. He's going for classical Sicilian it looks like. He never attacked here so it's possible to play a Maroxy bind here. Yeah, 
if I had defended the pawn first and he developed his knight, then that would have been a classical Sicilian. But uh, I played the Maroxy bind instead. So my strategy is, uh, you know, bishop here, bishop here, pawn up, castle queen side, a king side, castle king side. It's just a very solid formation. And then you gradually uh, start doing things in the center, you know, trying to take use of, make use of that square. Sometimes you can play there even, even when they have this pawn here because you take back with a pawn and you've got a pin on this file. It's a common motif. Let's prepare that uh, <clears throat> castling. Since this knight can't go here, it's okay to put the bishop out. And then I can play f3 and it'll permanently keep the knight out of this square and make this uh, e4 really solid. He could play um, e5. That might not, not be a bad move in this particular case. Now if he plays e5, I would just drop my knight back. So yeah, put the rook on the c-file. Aha, there was when he traded. Okay, queen or bishop? I was just about, my next move was going to be to move the back knight back to c2, push the other pawn up. Let's take with the bishop, I guess. He kicks it, yeah. So now I can put the knight up here. Maybe I shouldn't have gone all the way back. Maybe I should have gone to, oh, oh I, I took with the bishop. If I had taken with the queen, I could have come back to... Uh, d2. So I put it here, he takes, I take, and he has to move the bishop again. You can take either way here. Uh, so I'm going to take this way for variety. I, I often take the other way. But this way, you have a majority of pawns on the queen side. Let's just slip the queen up. So the rooks are connected and then start pushing these pawns. Yeah, so you can do this. The bishop behind it. Got a nice nice uh, pawn duo there. Ready to crush the opponent. Hmm. He does have a uh, bishop here, which is a bit annoying. If I move the queen, I mean, I could put my bishop here. And then uh, push this pawn, force him to move his bishop, which would have to go here, and then I, it's trapped. So there's a threat on this bishop. And the queen is defended. Yeah, that was the other thing. This pawn was kind of pinned because the queen was undefended there. Okay. <clears throat> 
Have we got something here? He can he can unpin the bishop or Yeah, that allows the uh, bishop some room. So if I go forward with the C pawn, queen moves forward probably, but I could put the bishop on uh, C5 if the queen comes forward. So the queen goes back or to the side don't have the fork anymore. See, if I went to the D pawn first, that bishop had to move, has to move back. And the C pawn, he can take it. Let's try pushing forward with the C pawn first then. See where his queen goes. If his queen goes to the side, I can push the uh, the uh, D pawn still and work a trap here. But yeah, if the queen goes there, it's not so easy. So I'm expecting him to trade. Uh, if he doesn't trade, I have the ability to push the deep on. So he's allowing a trade. He's not exactly trading, but he's allowing the trade. Like this idea, just defending this uh, bishop. So if he trades, I get my queen up here. And this was momentarily not under attack, the deep pawn, so queen wasn't needed to defend it right there. Maybe bring my Rick over next. Okay, so kill kill Mike. 1973 is stinking. What could he do? I, mean, I expect him to take, take the bishop, but uh, other possibilities would be like to push this pawn forward. Ah, so he's stopping my bishop from coming here. I take, queen takes, queen up. He brings his rook over, I bring my rook over, or qu qu queen up, he trades, I take, and then he brings his rook over. This is looking pretty good, I think. Let's just go ahead and take here. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I want to play uh, D6 here. Looks like he'll let me. <clears throat> now I can play D7. He can take it, actually. So let's defend it. Now, I could push this one forward. He uh, moves his rook to defend. I go forward. My idea is to just... Uh, well, maybe take this pawn first, but anyway, get to, get to, uh, get to b8 here somehow. So yeah, if he took, if he takes me, I get a queen. If he doesn't take me, I take him. He can't defend it. So that was a win.